Welcome back to Unrest, everybody. Today, we're going to take down the undead barkeep because we need to get the key from him to get upstairs to get the undead knight. Now, if you're in a TLP server that has just opened, for example, Mangler, and no other expansions are open like Kunar, Covelius, you're going to need to get the keys to these rooms to progress through this dungeon. They've changed that so that there's a key in the hand room, uh, mage's room, undead barkeep room, and all the way up in the tower in the undead knight room. And so what you have to do is you have to go to each room, kill the name guy, get the key, go to the next room, so on and so on. Otherwise you have to have somebody pick lock for you, but that's not always available. So this is how you go ahead and do it. If you're curious on how to do the hand room and the magus room, go ahead and refer to those videos I have. I'll show you how to do that. You can all do it with a character about this level. It's going to get a little harder here because we're level 23 and the mobs in the room are about 24, 25-ish or so. You're going to start to see some possible live creatures up there, so it's not going to be easy, easy to sneak in with Invisibility Undead. Intelligence 146, mana of 718, not a whole lot, but as enchanters, we get to make the other people fight each other rather than us relying on nuking. So it's pretty efficient. Now, this is going to be a tough room. There's about six in there plus the bartender. So it's a really, really tough room. There's an easy way to do it, and then there's a hard way to do it. Easy way involves getting behind the counter and nuking the bartender and game over. The hard way involves, well, I'll show you. That's a fun way. There's a, like I said, it's a boring way and there's a fun way. The, f the fun way will net you some experience and give you the biggest thrill ride of the world. Okay, so let's... Talk about the map here we're at the entrance once again as we always are i'm going to zoom in like this so you can kind of see we're going to go the same way just so we develop a pattern and you guys see where we're going we've got invisibility undead obviously we're going to use memory blur in case we need it if we get caught by something when our invisor drops our mezzes are going to be regular mesmerized it's the fastest casting one at 2.5 seconds we also have a longer casting mez which is good Always important to have a rune up, no matter what. It'll save your life. If you're soloing this, you need a rune. If you've got a healer following you around, don't worry about it. You'll be okay. And here's Charm. It casts fast. You will not have focus effects on Agnar, I mean on Mangler. So it will cast at 2.4 seconds, but that's still really fast because check this out. If that's 2.4 seconds and this is 2.5, it casts faster than Mesmerize. Therefore, you don't need to Mez anything. You just pop this on him. Okay, so let's get ready to roll. Here we go. Pop on your Invisa. There's two ways to go in. Like I said, I'm going to go in the same way through the front because I don't want to confuse you guys. Keep this window up so you can see whether Inviso is dropping. I'm going to run in there. If it is dropping out here, turn around, just run back out the zone. If it stays on, you got it. You're going to go. Okay, so these Death Beetles are dubious. Okay, right about here, you got to be careful. This is where it gets dicey. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. Let's drop the map. If you go around the corner, there is a hag up there. If you go too far up here, there is going to be a uh, possibly a werebat at the door. But if, you get, if you're too far down, this guy over here will see you. And that's bad too, because then the bottom will come and the top will come. It'll be all over. So don't go around this corner. There's a hag that sometimes goes around. You can kind of look around and see. like that she's not there right now so that's okay but you got to be careful not to expose yourself to the door because by doing so if there's any live creatures in there you're in trouble so now we're not going to leave uh need to use that spell the memory blur let's go ahead and let's load a calm death beetle what are you doing up here so we have a choice we can go with a lull and let me show you the difference lull here has a uh, time of two minutes where it stays on it goes up to level 30 which should work but it has a smaller, a larger reaction radius. So that means it's not going to be able to lull as many of them. But I like the cost and mana. It's only 10 mana. It's very long lasting. It's very efficient. What we want to do is we want to break down the room as much as we can. So Hag is not there. We're going to go like this. We're going to pop the door. Check it out, guys. In over here, you see Undead Barkeep, level 25. 
Here's the bad boy, level 26. We will not be able to charm him with our charm. Um, but we do have Beguile at 23, 24. Whoa, look at this lady, what I tell you? And this, I was actually wrong. She came up a little higher. So you just need to keep Inviso undead up and be careful because she spots you, it's over. If you see this message like you're beginning to fade, get down here a little bit. Hopefully she won't be there too long. Um, I have 24 minutes on this, but you know how this works randomly. So when she goes back up there, we got to swing into action really, really fast. No monkeying around at all. And we're going to change this out with a new, come on lady. Okay, good. She goes up there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and load a direct damage. We could load an area of effect mez, but we're going to try to do this just like in those kung fu movies where they get one guy and they throw him against other people. We're going to try to do that. Skeletal Monk is probably the best one you can charm in there. Carrion Ghoul is level 21. And we got Ice Bone over there. Ice Bone guy, this guy around here in this position, he's out of position. He's a roamer. He comes around right here. So what we can do is we can try to um, see how he goes around like this. He's a roamer. So we can pacify him. Let's start with the pacify routine. we got to work fast. One down. Pacified one. Let's get the werebat. Pacified werebat. Got him, carry on ghoul. Let's try to get all the guys on the far side of the room. Uh, skeletal monk, he's coming, and we're gonna make this a lot of fun. We're gonna have fun while we do this. And I like to get everybody because that way I can just walk right in there, set up shop, and pacify them. Okay, so make sure we get undead barkeep just for safe measure. Usually you can fight right on top of them. Okay, now we're in action, we're in the room. Now this guy here, is going to be the guy we're going to take as our as our uh, charm pet. So we got this done. We don't need this anymore. What we can do now is we can do this. We can put up mesmerization. This thing will mesmerize. Make sure you have resist magic when you have this up. Let's go ahead. Let's start the action. It's boom boom time, guys. Okay, we're going to charm him, and there he goes. Okay, so go kill skeletal monk for me, bro, and root him. If you lost the rune, bring the rune back up. The objective here is just to knock these guys out, get them to kill each other, and reduce the room here. Wow. Tell me about it. You've got some uh, meat on you. And I really like this pet, so it's going to be kind of sad that I have to destroy him. But my objective is I want to reduce this room down. Whoops, and watch out there. He turned into a dude that looked like me. Okay, so let them fight it. He's rooted. Now, as you know, carry on ghoul here. Look at the other guys are still under pacify here. They still have 27 seconds on lull. What you can do is since it costs so little to do, you can go ahead and go like this. Quickly, if you work really fast, you can calm him. Here comes the dry bones. You can mez him. And this unmask changing. Now we have Werebat in here. Werebat, we're going to mez you. Remember I told you we're going to try to kill everything around here. Everything gets to kill itself. This guy right here, once he dies, we're going to go ahead and charm him. Go ahead, kill our... Kill him, please. Hurry. We're going to go ahead and charm him. Now you work for us, and this guy here, we're going to get like this, and Mr. Werebat, we're going to go ahead and do this to him, and our unmasked changeling, he looks very cool because he looks like me. Okay, we're going to send him to the meat grinder, this is what I call the meat grinder, oh, you're being bad, I thought I charmed you skeletal monk. It's gonna get hairy, like I said, it's never a boring moment in here. Okay, get this guy on route. Werebat is going on mez. It's gonna get hairy. Okay, we're gonna sit down, have a seat. Like this, let them kill off my pet. Pop the rune back up. You gotta be patient here. You gotta be real patient. You need to get that mana back up. And the werebat here, we're gonna wait. How many ticks does he have left? 29 seconds. He's gonna kill, they're gonna kill each other. 
And we're going to go like this, root him. And dry bones, you should be dying soon. And go like this. So just waiting it out. We're going to kill him and then we're going to get the werebat killed. Or the werebat's going to kill our pet. Good. Now you guys fight it out. While I regenerate some mana, slowly going up on mana. Uh, as you, you can see here, the werebat's going to win this fight. So let's go ahead and um, load a bigger charm. That's why you want to be at least level 23 when you do this. Let's get werebat rooted because he'll kill our pet. And there's a couple ways you can do this. We can get that other ghoul over there or we can get werebat. I found that werebats aren't the greatest pets. But, um, you know, he will work. He's got 36 seconds. We're going to use that time to regenerate the mana. We've got the carry on ghoul over there. So everything is going okay. We've got the room pretty much broken down. Let's watch the timer 24 seconds. We'll hit him with beguile, get him back under charm. We'll get him to go kill the other guy on the other side of the room. Okay, so let's go. Let's go get him. We got back to 50% mana. Good. That was only 15%. And wait till his root wears off, which is about now. Uh oh, and I'm gonna root you. And the werebat, where are you? Okay, gonna mez you. And that's the problem with getting stuff that's way above your level. It gets really, really dicey. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Okay, go ahead and kill this guy, please. He's coming out of Mez. We need the mana, so we're not going to put anything on. Uh, let's see, should be about 10 seconds. And we need every bit of mana. That's why when you do this, make sure you have lots and lots of mana. Because you're going to need it. And the Carry On Ghoul is coming out. We're going to have to be really lucky here. Go ahead. Werebat should be able to take him down. But it is an even fight. Well, not even. Werebat's got the lead. We need as much mana as we can. I would say, if you want to be safe, try to come out here 160 intelligence or at least maybe 800 something mana. You got to be kidding me. This guy again. Whoops. Okay, wow. He's being a bad little boy. Okay, so it does turn out like this sometimes. Just be patient. And as you can see here, it's going to be close. I wish I had 50% mana. We may have... Uh-oh. Okay, well, this is not going to go well. So when it doesn't go well like this, what you want to do is this. You want to try to go the other way. And um, you want to get your memory blur loaded. Then you want to be able to keep these guys locked on Mez. You're going to have to reset this fight here is basically what we're doing right now. Going to go ahead and reset him. Get him on Mez. And then you have to get this memory blur loaded up here. This doesn't always go. So you should clear him off. Uh, get invisibility. Invisible undead. And you can wait right here. I'm going to reset this whole fight. And sometimes this is how it goes. I'm going to wait right here. Let the room reset. We blurred him off. And then we blurred off the other guy with the mez. We got lucky. But usually you cast two memory blurs. So we're going to wait until mana goes back up. And you see how he got around the door there with the hag. And this is a safe spot to sit here. We're going to wait right here. Now the hard part is when we go back in there. If we have a full mana... We should be able to do this fight. We should be able to get right through it. So you just got to wait and hope the hag goes away. You can see how many times the other guy breaks Mez. I mean, breaks charm. So we're going to go ahead and do the charm again. 
And once again, you can see they're just limited by the amount of mana we have. We have Invisibility Undead. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to load up um, a Calm. We're going to load up, uh, let's see, the tightness in the room. Let me think of the tightness. The location was kind of, kind of tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to, I would go with, let's see, Lull should be about 15. This should give us enough radius. We're going to make sure we have our Invisibility Undead up before we go in there, and then we're going to pop a rune. So we're starting up here again. Let's put the Invisibility Undead up. Wait till we get back up. And like I said, it gets exciting sometimes. Really, really exciting. A lot of the fights come down to this. We got to work fast because the room will respawn. I think it's about a 15-minute spawn timer. That'll give us enough time. Once we get to here, we'll probably be able to jump in and get the carry-on ghoul and send the carry-on ghoul against the werebat. If we can do that, because there's two guys left in there, we can take them out. If we can do take them out, we're in good shape. We'll pre-pacify the room and go ahead and work that room. So we need a little more mana. We're coming up on 488 mana, almost there. We got our two mezes here. Got our nuke here. I got our low. And eight minutes left on clarity. Let's get the uh, regen, I mean, excuse me, breeze. Now, if you're on a server that doesn't have breeze, you can use clarity potions, which I believe are about the equivalent of what breeze is. And this you will need. We're going to be up to mana soon. So let's go back here and lull him. We're going to try to use this because it costs so little mana. Remember, mana is everything. And so what you're noticing as you get higher and higher up, the encounters get tougher and tougher. It's not like, say, we're out in Nagina and we can, uh, you know, just throw the bodies at each other. We got to work it because uh, sometimes we get resists. A couple of resists on these guys can mean disaster for us. Also keep in mind, make sure the hag is nowhere near here. Because if the hag is in there, we're we've got a problem. But we have invisibility undead. We're gonna sneak right in there and get the party started because they should be far enough away. Let's go for it. Okay, we're at maximum distance right here. We don't need invisibility undead. Okay, we need to go for the kills, the big kills. But the thing is, I don't like using dots. Because if you use a dot, the problem with the dot is that um, you get a situation where you can't remez who you're fighting at all. So this is basically all we're going to need except the rune. And let's get this rune up because it's the only thing that's going to save us. Now that we're at full mana, quickly pop the rune. And we'll go ahead. We should be out of his range. Let's go ahead and lull him. There we go. Just wait now. And we don't need we can lull this guy over here, although he doesn't see it. What usually you can do is you can come in here if you're like a wizard and sit right on top of him and stun him and blast him and stun him, blast him, and kill him with the whole room full of stuff in here. So it does work that way too. I'm gonna go ahead and lull him. Let's get this guy under lull also. And sit here. Okay, we got everybody lulled, and we can keep him under lull. We're just... This time we're gonna try to use the carry on ghoul. So now that he's lulled, it's just a matter of uh, going ahead and mezzing him like this. See, he has, I think he has lower magic resistance. And let's get him under beguile. And this guy over here will engage. And what we're going to do, we're going to root him. Once our carrying ghoul comes aboard, we're going to see. Watch your timers on your thing here. Okay, he's back with us. Okay, we're going to bring over this guy here, Werebat. And we're going to root him like so. We got him rooted. We're going to need to use the carrying ghoul later. So let's use some mana here to blast this guy. Oh, gotta get it. Let's see what are we hitting for? 
Okay, 165, it's going well. And he resisted. That's not good. You don't want to blow all your mana. There we go. Much better. And gotcha. And root ya. Okay, so Werebat should be down. One more shot. We have enough mana to reacquire this guy here. There we go. And Werebat is dead. Now this guy here is about half mana. Let's go sit for a few ticks so we can get him back. We need to get a couple ticks back. I'm going to go ahead and save a little mana so that we can fire. We could probably kill him right away. But I want to save the mana for a rune I know. Just want to be safe here. Because you never know. And now we have 30%. If we get about 50% mana, I think we can take the undead barkeep down. And we'll try to fight him right over there. Because the whole room should be respawning. So let's wait. We have... Three minutes left on this, about a minute or so, he might break. So let's go ahead and target him. Be prepared for a breakage. Almost ready to roll. Just wait it out. You got to be patient, but you got to be thinking fast. 50%. It's going to be a little close. I want to save a little mana uh, to blur this guy. Just in case I kill him and I don't have enough mana to... to finish him or to put him park him somewhere okay so let's go ahead and 60 percent and Gooly is back on top send him in okay hit him with the tosh make sure you get this guy with the root and you can see here undead barkeep he's 25 when he's going to need a few nukes i sure hope we up oh, this is not good not not good should have waited till we had a little more mana. Because uh, this may go down to the wire. Looks like this undead bar keeps a crazy, crazy guy. Uh oh. And do not know if we have enough mana to. Whoop. This might not have been good. We were a little bit too low on mana. Too close to call here uh oh so in this case you have very little man it's probably not enough to, to nuke him down although you can try one shot let's go ahead and one shot him to see how much we get hit for 156 and we're gonna go ahead and root him again I don't know if we can pop him again case when he does this you hit him with mez as you can see we blurred him so quickly swing around and let's put invisibility undead like I said it's gonna be a tough encounter and he blurred off the list which is really good pop invisibility undead and sit down over here see the problem is he can see running out of mana if we had closer to 180 intelligence we would have no problem we could run through what level is he by the way he's 25 no wonder we have no more pets to send at him and this is a problem we got to watch out if were bats or something spawn in the room the objective now is to get enough mana wait for one more pet to take him and like i said if you have enough mana you can just jump right in and get him if you look back up here the hits for him, I got a lot of resist, but he's hitting for about that much. And uh, we hit for 156. So what would have been smarter is to wait for us to have about 75% mana or more. Uh, that would have been a lot smarter. Now we're going to have to wait for a pet to come up. Or we're going to just have to try to nuke him straight up. Like this, he will regenerate slowly. We hope we can... We're going to have to fight him from the beginning again. And it's a shame we can't get the hag, because if we could get the hag to fight him, uh, it would be all over. We could destroy him so fast. Now he's going to be full, full health before we are. And our buffs are going down. Like I said, try to get some cleric buffs before you get out here. 
Otherwise, it's going to be really, really difficult. And what level is this thing? Level 25. Okay, looks like we do have a pet now. Let's see here. Um, this is going to be our new pet. Okay, one on one. We got to operate really fast because if we don't, what's going to happen is. Shoot, you got to be kidding me. I'm on. We're going to change the charm out real quick once we get this one. And this one is 25, so we can use this low level charm. We got to work fast because the room is respawning. Let's get her real quick. Come on, lady, hurry up. <laughs> get over there. Get over two, one. The room's gonna respawn, lady. Get on it. Take him down. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and root him. Let's hope we don't get any respawns. And once again, he's just tearing her up. Look at that, we're gonna have to work faster. Let's move in for some nukes. Let's make this quick. Otherwise, the whole room's going to respawn and we're going to be dead. And fight through it. Fire up. Oh, there we go. We got a ghoul. This is not good. Okay, just as I mentioned, things are getting a little hairy. Mez the ghoul. And the whole room should respawn. Okay, this one here, always going to be down to the wire. And let's see if we can get him. Come on, one more shot. Face tank him. Got him. And so this is what he dropped. Thick leather apron. Let's load a memory blur. Okay, so the thick leather apron, he also finds steel dagger. We'll take this, we'll like take a look at it in one moment. We want to try to, oh boy. Okay, we're going to get her to sit. And there you go. Uh-uh. This is where it gets bad here. Okay, let them uh, fight it out here. Pretty soon we're going to have the whole room on us. At this point, if you have gate, you can uh, cast gate and get out of here. The other thing you can do is you can try to go ahead and mess them. We don't have enough mana to mess them out, but what we're gonna do is once again, let them destroy each other. And we're just gonna have to do this. The whole room's gonna spawn very, very soon. Meanwhile, we try to get the man up. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and charm this guy here as soon as our lady is dead. Gonna wait till she gets down about 1% and we're gonna cast this and hopefully it'll go good. Actually this other one over here is better. Gonna take him. It's gonna be close. Come on, here we go. Come on. Yep, and you know who you're fighting. You're fighting this guy here. Okay, so that's uh, good. I'm going to drop these on the ground here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. So make sure you have Invisible Undead. You have Memory Blur loaded. And we're going to go ahead and wait till we get a little mana. We're going to mez him off. Then we're going to blur him and we're going to get out of this place. Mez, by hitting this, mez, blur, and walk away from this. We did get the thick leather apron and this is what you get right here. It's his rare drop, the opaline earring is his common drop. It's a waste item with AC8. In classic, this is a quite a nice item to get, you know, if you just want an AC8 item. So let's make this happen real quick before the room respawns. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Invisible Undead. And we're going to mez you. 
Gotta be fast. Got him mezzed. Got him blurred. We have enough mana to get out of here. And he's been blurred. Invisible and dead. And away we go. Okay, so now we're out of here, guys. Let's get out. As you know, this is a safe spot. You can sit right here and met up, or you can gate out. But anyway, that's how you get him. He will also drop a key for the upstairs. And once you get the key for that, you're all set to go. Let me just show you one thing you can do up there. See, the undead knight is there. He doesn't see Inviso. So what you can do... As you can exit that way and you can just run it straight out the front this is probably easier remember death beetles don't see uh, or they're dubious to you and this guy here will not see you but uh, that's how you do it everybody it's quite a fight and like I said with six seven in the room it's gonna be tough but I showed you how to do a timeout so if it gets hairy you know how to do timeout you know where to hide and regenerate and get back up Good luck to all of you. I hope you all get the thick leather apron and get the key to the tower up there and get the undead knight. Thanks for watching, everybody.